Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a camera bubble effect into your Roblox game. So let's get started. So this is what it looks like when you walk. As you can see, the effect is happening. It's going up and down, giving that camera bubble effect. So let's get straight into it. The free model is in the description. So once you get the free model, then open the folder and ungroup this in Stutter Character Scripts, which is right here ungroup and then you can delete the folder and you're good to go so i'm going to quickly go in the script with you so the first line here is run service this is basically when the game starts so it, it it goes over here and when the game starts this entire code here just keeps running then after that it gets the players which is basically just all the people in the server then it gets the local player which is you and then it gets your character what it does here is it gets the character, but if your character is not loaded in yet, like if you have slow Wi-Fi, then it waits until it has been loaded in. And then it gets the humanoid from inside of your character. Then over here it gets the camera in workspace, which is basically what the player sees in the game. And then this entire function right here is running inside the render steps. So basically when the game has been started, this entire code here runs. Then here it checks if the move direction is like if it's equal to if it's equal to zero but it's doing the opposite if it's not equal to zero because you don't want to have the camera bubble effect if you're not moving so this basically just does just basically like uh, does the camera bubble effect if you're moving but if you're not moving it will not run this code over here is the speed so if you increase this up to like something like 25 then it's just gonna increase that effect the camera bubble effect a bit more then over here is a bunch of math, which basically just bubbles the camera. So now that I've set this to 25, let's see what it looks like. The effect is going to be even heavier than before. When we walk, it is very shaky. That is basically just giving more of a camera bubble effect. But you can change that number to your liking. I like to keep it on 10 because it looks more realistic. So that is it for today's video. Bye guys.